use the word pathetic. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be too far from the truth, you know, um, I uh, We asked to try and play a possession game, too many long balls again. If you can't pass a 10 yard ball, you know, in, in, this, in this league, well, and that was time and time again across the park. Um, and probably the most disappointing aspect, I think, once again, a few of us dropped our heads. So, you know, that type of character, when the chips are down, you know, you don't need that. We talked about that at half time. I thought the first 10 minutes and the second half, I thought we started to come at them again. I, I thought maybe a, a, a little bit of um, extra tone, volume in the voice at half time may have, um, may have helped. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, very disappointed. I, I think I've already said it. If you can't pass a 10-yard ball, I mean, the, the number of turnovers we had where there was there was no real pressure, immediate pressure on the ball. You know, if you can't pass a 10 or 15-yard ball, it's just coming back. And like I said, too many long balls. You know, if we're gonna if we're gonna get it, uh, from goal kicks or, or from keeper and just keep on kicking that long, and, and it's going to keep on coming back uh, back to us. You know, something's got a twig and something's got a coin's got a tick and sort of say, well, that's that ain't isn't working for. Yeah, well, I thought it was much better improvement than what we did last week. I mean, we, we stuck to the game plan this week and, and yeah, we got the, the just desserts that we deserved. Scoring scoring plenty? <laughs> yeah, scoring plenty, but again, you know, still conceding two silly goals, which we shouldn't have done. Um, and I'm not going to use the words that I used last week, no disrespect to anybody. Yeah. I mean, the Knights played well tonight, you know, and they knocked it around pretty, pretty physical as well, you know, with what they do. Um, but I think we stuck to our game plan tonight. You know, we went out there with a the plan and we stuck to it and got the results. Two wins from two. You must be happy with the start of the season. I'm never happy. Never happy. I'm never happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm never happy till the last game of the season. And the boys must be smiling though, getting yeah. uh, getting some goals. Yeah, they are. But again, you know, it's, it's, we're scoring the goals. That's fine. But we, we've got to stop conceding goals and silly goals. And, when, once we start doing that, you know, we'll be a force to be reckoned with. What's the issue there? Do you think have you you've got any pinpoint that um, in the in defence that you think uh, needs needs patching up? Yeah, look, I, I think the fact of being able to get a stable back four and playing together more than anything. You know, we've had a couple of injuries with Ryan Smith and Andrew Taliga last week. You know, we'll lose Tex next week. He's out for a week, so it, that's just the problem. We can't get a consistent back four to stay there all the time, and, and I think that's what's showing up at the moment. Walsh um, had a great game last weekend and, and he scored uh, again tonight. Him and Engels seemed to, to work well up front together. They took a little bit of time to gel, but after 10, 15 minutes, they looked like they started working well together. Yeah, I mean, it's a great combination. You've got speed, you've got a bit of brawn up there with Kurt. I mean, Kurt's just coming into his own now. He's just starting to play good football. You know, he's had 12 months where he's been off, we might say. But now he's back in the fold and he's playing good football and him, the combination is working well and it worked well with Ricky Self playing just in behind them tonight because it gave them the support.